Well, the eclipse came and left, and the judgment of God did not fall in America. I bring this up because some people were predicting that was what was going to happen because the eclipse was a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Now, it is true that the Bible says that there'll come a point historically when the sun will not give its light, but that mentioned by Jesus in Matthew 24 is talking about a period coming to the world called the Great Tribulation Period. It has not begun yet. But people do this whenever there's an eclipse, which happened about every 18 months, or a blood moon, or something else. Here's the problem. We get sidetracked by these things, and we miss the big picture. It reminds me of an old dude that was out fishing, and suddenly he heard a voice that said to him, Hey, you, pick me up and kiss me, and I'll become a beautiful princess. He looked around. Who said that? Thought, maybe I'm hearing things. Went back to fishing again. The voice says, Hey, you. Pick me up and kiss me and I'll become a beautiful princess. He thought, who was saying this? For the third time, the voice said it and realized it was a frog that said, Hey you, pick me up and kiss me and I'll become a beautiful princess. The old man reached down, picked up the frog and put it into his pocket. The frog said, didn't you hear me say, kiss me and I'll become a beautiful princess? Patting the frog, the old man said, at this stage of my life, I'd rather have a talking frog. That's called missing the point. And sometimes we miss the point, as it's sometimes said, we can't see the forest for the trees and we get caught up in these little rabbit trails of blood moons and eclipses and the ashes of the red heifer or something else. While there are all kinds of Bible prophecies that tell us Jesus is coming. When we fixate on these things and start talking about these things to people, they think we're crazy. Okay, so here's the thing we need to remember. We don't know when Jesus is coming again. Jesus says, no man knows the day or the hour when the Son of Man will return. If you were to go back to the original language and translate that verse, it would come out to say something along the lines of Jesus speaking, no one knows the day or the hour when Jesus will come again. And what it actually means is no one knows the day or the hour. So any prophecy so-called or message from a prophet of the Lord that they just received this message from God and this blood moon says this or this eclipse says that. Come on, don't believe these people because it didn't happen and they said it would. But you know what? Jesus is coming again and we need to be ready for his coming. And the main thing we should be focused on is what we should be doing as we await his return. The Bible says in the book of Romans, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. So let us cast off the work of darkness and let us be Christ's men from head to foot and give no chances for the flesh to have its fling. If we really believe Jesus is coming back, it should cause us to live more godly lives in 1 John it says, He that has this hope, it is the hope of the Lord's return, purifies himself even as he is pure. Let's live pure lives. Let's wake up. And let's do our best to share the gospel with as many people as we can as we await the return of Jesus.